Hey guys, Greg from Cardi.com here today with a review and installation of StopTech's sport drilled and slotted brake rotors. Now, there are plenty of reasons why you may consider upgrading your factory brake rotors. It might just be time to replace them due to normal wear and tear, and rather than slapping on the factory stuff, why not improve the performance? Or maybe you're ready to take your vehicle to the next level and start racing. Well, in that case, stopping power is certainly an important factor. Well, in the case of our Project F-150, we have a lot of rolling mass to slow down now. Plus, if we decide to tow with our rig, some more stopping power certainly won't hurt. So, we are going to bolt up StopTech's sport drilled slotted and vented rotors. Before we go ahead and start taking apart our brakes, let's take a closer look at these rotors. StopTech sport rotors are a single piece rotor that are drilled, slotted, and vented. StopTech uses an E-coated finish on both sides of the rotor hat, as well as the inside of the cooling vanes and the outside edge. This finish protects all of the metal that is normally exposed to the elements and can withstand 400 hours of saltwater exposure without rusting. Now, the sole reason that performance rotors are drilled and slotted are due to the fact that this design aids in providing increased pad bite into the rotor for better stopping power, which in turn improves the stopping distance. They also allow gases, dust, and water to escape more efficiently, which gives us a clean surface for the pads to contact and reduces glazing. But the main benefit that all of these features provide is heat dissipation. Excessive heat are brakes' number one enemy. They cause pads and rotors to glaze, rotors to warp, and brake fade to occur. Bottom line, if you can get rid of the heat, your stopping performance and brake longevity improves. And, well, that's our goal for today. Today's install, we're going to swap our rotors only on our truck. Our pads are in great shape and more than compatible with our new rotors. Start by removing both caliper bracket bolts and then remove the caliper off the rotor. Remove the rotor from the hub. Make sure to clean both surfaces of the rotor thoroughly with a brake clean to remove the protective film. Next, install the caliper and caliper bracket and bolt them up to the steering knuckle. Now that we have the front rotors installed, we're going to go ahead and move to the rear. We're going to repeat the same process as the front by first removing both caliper bracket bolts. Then, remove the brake caliper from the rotor, remove the rotor from the hub, when installing drilled and slotted rotors with directional vanes, it's important to install them on the correct sides of the vehicle. StopTech labels their rotors so there's no confusion. Clean both sides of the rotor again with brake clean. Next, install the caliper and bracket. And go ahead and install the caliper bracket bolts and tighten them. All right, guys, that's it. That's how easy it was to get these StopTech rotors installed on our Project F-150. Of course, every car will vary a little bit, but a basic rotor swap and pad swap is a pretty easy job. And I gotta say, they look great through these Asani off-road wheels. I'm Greg from CarD.com, and I look forward to seeing you next time for more product reviews and installation videos.